Hello everyone, Henry from Enterprise DNA here. In this video, we will learn how to use Power Automate to create adaptive cards in Teams. And this is a quick introduction as well to adaptive cards. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, what exactly is an, an adaptive card? An adaptive card is a way to interact with a Teams message. For example, we have this chat over here still open from the previous time we talked about Teams and Power Automate. And I have a message over here from Brad Pitt, for example. I can click these three dots here and open up ways to interact with that message. So I can reply to it, pin it, whatever. But I can also use these things over here, which open up adaptive cards to interact with it further. For example, I have an adaptive card here called test. And when I open it up, it produces a screen like this, for example, and it asks for additional input. So this, for example, over here, what I've selected there is a way for me to actually add this as a task to Microsoft Planner. So I click this message over here. I then went into actions. I then clicked the actual adaptive card or really power automate function which opens up this adaptive card i can then select a due date for this task let's say the 13th and then i click submit and in the background the adaptive card takes an input and launches a power automate workflow which in this case basically adds that task to my microsoft planner which we'll see over here now we'll fix these few little things there, but that's what an adaptive card is. It allows you to interact with a message and really take an input from the user. Now adaptive cards can get very complex and very cool, or they can be very simple. Since this is you know, a simple lesson, we'll go through the easy route, but keep in tune because there will be a point where we talk about how to create complex and really cool looking adaptive cards even ones where you can have lists of data in your adaptive card as well, and then choose different actions as well. Okay, for now, what we'll do is we will go to our Power Automate and we'll go and create a new flow where we'll show you how do you actually create those adaptive cards. Okay, we'll create a new flow, it'll be an automated cloud flow. And what we'll do over here is we'll go to our Teams as a trigger. And the trigger that we wanna choose over here is for a selected message. Because this workflow only gets activated if someone again clicks those three dots on the message and then does something with the adaptive card itself. Now here, we don't even need to create an adaptive card if we don't want to consume any other input from the actual message. But for what we wanna create, we wanna create a way where if someone messages you a random task, you can click these three buttons and then add that task to your Microsoft Planner with ease. Okay, so let's create an adaptive card and we get a very, you know, no code visual UI to basically move things around, okay? So we have a text box over here. We'll say, add, add a task. And over here, we can say a shortcut to add a task to planner. And then we'll need some inputs. So we don't need any of these types of things here. All we really need is the due date. So we'll go over here under text and select due date. And over here, we'll use card elements on the left to bring in input.date because we want a date field. Now again, this itself can be a one hour lesson, but we'll go through it fairly quickly for now. Over here, in terms of the date, we're going to set the ID of this input.date to be called date underscore due. And this will be the dynamic content that we use in the following steps of the Power Automate workflow. Okay, and that's it. Let's save our card and now let's do a new step. So what we wanna do after someone clicks submit is we wanna add that task to 
planner, right? So let's open up the planner control. And over here, we wanna create a task and it's going to be in the business planner. Okay, the title of the task. Now we can technically, we should have asked for the title of the task and made the actual message the description instead. But for now, what we'll do is we'll just make the title of the task equal to the actual message itself. So we'll make it equal to plain text message content. Okay, and we'll make the due date simply the, ooh, look at that, date due, which again is what we ask for when we create the adaptive card. Okay, and then let's also put it into a bucket. We'll put it to the to-do bucket because we have a to-do list here. Okay, and that's it. There we go. In about, what, two minutes, we've been able to create our own uh, adaptive card workflow, and let's give it a shot. Now, the first time you save an adaptive card workflow, it, it does take a little bit of time, unfortunately, because it's kind of creating a UI aspect of a workflow. Usually when you think of power automated workflows, they don't require UIs, right? So the, this, this, this might take a little bit. Okay, uh, perfect. Let's actually change the name of it as well. We'll change it to add task. Okay, let's save that. Perfect. Now let's go to our teams. And what I'll do over here is I will get Brad Pitt to send me a message. Hey, Henry, could you do me a favor? All the expense reports and pay them out to John, okay? So as you can see over here, Brad Pitt just gave me a really annoying, I wanna make sure that I actually do it because I'm doing something else right now. Instead of me copying this and going to plan or opening it up, all I need to do is I can go over here, go to actions. Uh, unfortunately, oh, right here. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, it's probably this guy over here. I guess it hasn't changed yet, unfortunately, um, because we, I think I need to refresh teams in order to change the, the actual title of the task, but that's fine. We'll click this. Okay. Add a task shortcut to add a task to planner. We'll specify the due date as being the 23rd. We'll click submit. And now if we go to our planner, we should see it. Let's refresh the page. And there we go, taking all the expense reports and pay them out to John. Perfect. The only thing that's left is obviously changing the name of it. We've already changed it here. So what we would need to do in Teams is probably close it and reopen it again for it to kind of process. But we know it works because we can go over here and actually see it here. And there we go. That That is a very quick introduction to adaptive cards in Teams. Again, an adaptive card is a way for you to interact with a message after you click submit on an adaptive card, which is usually used to consume more input from the user. You can then do it for whatever you want. In this case, is to create a new task. You can use it to forward a message to someone else. You can use it to send an email out. You can have like an email me option. Really, the world's your oyster there. Um, so you can do a lot of different things. Okay, there we go. Hope, hope that was helpful. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks everyone. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators. Uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.